Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we've got a short video for you about a founding collection item that we've got here on board. So, uh, first off, let's start with my qualifications for this. I am the least musically inclined person in the world. I don't listen to music. Uh, I have no idea what this funny looking guitar is for. Uh, I'm pretty sure you put your ear to this end and then you can hear what people are saying. Uh, however, music is very important to some people, including some sailors in the Navy. During the interwar years in particular, capital ships, uh, like the battleships that preceded New Jersey, always had bands assigned. And in the military, competition is extremely important. Uh, they would have band competitions. And uh, much like schools recruit performers, uh, the Navy would also try and recruit some of the best musicians in the world, and give them world-class equipment and training, and then have them compete against each other. Uh, pretty famously, Battleship Arizona's band had just come in second place at a tournament on December 6, 1941, and was given permission to sleep in. Um, their sleep in was interrupted, and the band in wartime formed uh, the entire gun crew for a five inch anti aircraft gun. So that band then went to their battle stations, loaded and fired their five inch gun, and were all killed when Arizona exploded. During the war, musical competition became a little bit less important. I'm not entirely sure if all of the capital ships had bands assigned to them as new built ships came online. Uh, I know that uh, the battleships and cruisers tended to have bands and uh, when we threw the cruisers into the meat grinder at Guadalcanal, uh, a number of bands were removed from the cruisers as those ships sank, and again, they, they formed the core of the crew with gun crews and other jobs as a unit. Uh, so these entire units surviving, uh, members of the units, were removed from these cruisers and in some instances plugged into uh, the new battleships as they were built. I'm not sure if uh, New Jersey had a band as built or not. She probably, her crew formed bands throughout the years. It's not uncommon for sailors to bring musical instruments on board if they're uh, allowed to bring personal items and to play them for entertainment in their off hours. So uh, I would not at all be surprised that even if the ship didn't have a competing uh, or a competition worthy band on board that had an actual unit designation and whatnot, that they probably had a group of sailors who were musically inclined and played together. I'm fairly certain because the ship was designed pre-war that her World War II blueprints do show uh, band equipment compartments and, and places for the band to store their instruments when they're not using them. Now, whether those were actually used in wartime when the ship was completed or if they were in fact used as ammunition magazines or storage for something else. I don't, I don't know. Uh, this particular uh, drum set has been in the collection for longer than I've worked at this museum, so I'm not uh, entirely sure where it came from or what its relation is to the ship. On the top there is a uh, inscription that says uh, Great Lakes, so that would probably be Great Lakes Training Center. So maybe there was a band there, or maybe all the musicians who went through there had equipment issued to them that said that. I'm not sure. Maybe it's related to the ship. Uh, oftentimes people donate objects to the museum that is just Navy-related or military-related in general, and it doesn't actually relate to the ship, which could be why this is down here in the collection space and not actually out on display somewhere. The ship may have had a band at various points in her career during the Vietnam War, she had the last bugler in the Navy assigned. He was a master chief bugler, and it was very common in the 40s and 50s to uh, bugle over the 1MC, uh, much like smaller ships would use the bosun's pipe over the 1MC to make announcements.
sense. Uh, and then by the time the ship came back in the 80s, that whole rating had disappeared, and there were no more buglers in the Navy. That, that wasn't something that was done anymore. If you want to see a real live Navy bugler in action, check out the John Wayne Kirk Douglas movie In Harm's Way, uh, the opening scene of which shows the cruiser St. Paul's bugler in the early 60s uh, playing General Quarters. Battleship New Jersey, um, as a museum, has a volunteer bugler, Nan LaCourt, who comes out and plays during all of our ceremonies. And we've got some footage of her. You can see her here. She's also a member of our brass team. Obviously, uh, polishing brass is important when you're using a guitar like this. If you served in the military, did your unit have a band with it? And what sort of woodwind do you think this is? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State. We also receive support from a number of both organizational donors and individuals like yourselves. And donations by private individuals like yourselves uh, have allowed us to go from making one YouTube video a week to making this a larger part of our jobs and making five videos a week. Thank you for your support. Uh, and if you would like to continue to support us, there's a link in the description for a way you can donate. Also, because we're making so many new videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you're notified when that new stuff comes out. Thanks for watching.